Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome back to Forest River. As you can see, we are here getting filled up with some liquid fertilizer to get uh, ready for um, fertilizing our fields. Once we get them rolled, figure we might as well get this done now. Uh, I think 400 gallons should do it for now. I don't think oats really take a whole lot. And besides that 400 gallons was, as you saw, almost $2,200. So we're gonna just buy a little bit for now uh, and see how far it goes. Because we are also going to have to get some herbicide as well uh, after we move into April. So we'll have to do that. So we don't want to buy too much liquid fertilizer. Granted, we can just unload it into shuttles to keep at the farm. But for now, we're going to just buy a little bit at a time. But our main focus today, or our first order of business, I should say, is that we are going to get rolling. Uh, so, let's go ahead and fire this big beast up. And uh, let's go head over and get rolling. I don't know why this tractor shows that it takes death fluid. In real life, this would not. So I guess if we ever get low on death, we'll just, uh, I'll just cheat it in with the easy developer because we're not actually gonna buy death for a like 80s or 90s tractor when death was not even a thought in people's minds that was non-existent then so let's get this thing unfolded here oh boy this is gonna be fun. Can hardly tell where we have and have not gone. Uh, let's get this off. Let's get a thumbnail picture here. can kind of tell, I guess, the difference. first year running roller is always difficult because you don't have that actual stubble tillage look to things and so it always makes things just a little more complicated mainly on your seeded ground if you run over it with a planter it's not so bad you can actually tell where you went then but With the seeded ground, it is definitely not as apparent. Like 
we're still doing okay. Which I guess if we miss a little bit, we miss a little bit. That's just what it'll be. Can't always get it perfect. Okay. Let's turn on all wheel steering. No, nope, not crab. Not. There we go. All wheel steering. This thing turns like a tank otherwise, so I guess we kind of got to have it on. There we go. Okay. Now we can get back to it. So if you zoom out, you can kind of tell the difference here. Rolling is definitely one of those jobs that's not a favorite thing to do, but it's got to be done. I know I did see at one time, I believe it was the official mod hub had a mod that was released on there that actually makes it so you don't have to roll, but that's alright. Where's our edge here? Right there. Uh, we'll have to come back and do just a little strip, but that's okay. It's better than leaving a bunch of little skips here and there. get hold it up all right good go so let's put that down in our farm plan that roller is done Everything else looks correct. Yeah, we should be good. All right. Can't tell if it's better with the lights or without them. It's about that time of the day where it's a toss up of, do we put them on, do we leave them off? Get unfolded. Bingo. And away we go. The nice thing, though, about rolling is it does go by pretty quick because you can you can move at a pretty decent speed with a roller, so. That makes it much, much nicer to have to do it. And someday, eventually down the road, we'll be able to upgrade to a bigger one. But this one's about perfect for our uh, size of operation here. So I can't complain too much. Works pretty good for this.
So I am recording these videos a while in advance because I do want to try and at least for a little while here uh, I want to try and get some videos out to you guys on a daily um, here probably towards the end of July um, we will hopefully be starting harvest so once harvest time rolls around the videos are gonna stop again until till after harvest so you know come winter time pretty much uh, it's kind of a short-lived summer this year just because of how spring went spring uh, spring lasted forever this year so now we've been busy hauling corn out of the bins trying to get them all empty so that way when uh, our winter wheat and spring wheat is ready to go we're ready for it all right done deal let's get this thing back And we'll switch back to the International and we'll get some fertilizer sprayed down. Let's see here, we'll just pull this guy right up over here because we can block in the uh, cultivator and chisel. We don't need them, so. Let's go give this sprayer a whirl. Let's see how well she works. Um, let's bring our HUD back up, though. For a minute because I am not entirely sure just how much this sprayer holds so we'll see refill okay so 267 gallons so that actually worked out pretty good there filling 400 I have actually never used this sprayer, so it'll be interesting to see how well it works, because, yeah, I've never used it. I don't even remember downloading it, quite honestly. I'm not sure if this is, I think this might be the one by uh, Benny. Um, I'm not sure, though. I know he was working on a three-point sprayer at one time, but I don't know if this is the one or not. So let's get it unfolded. start right here at the bottom or well yeah the south end of this field and off we go perfect awesome oh come on sprayer or tractor I mean work with me oops we're missing a little bit there
this sprayer is going to work out pretty nice for a little while here. Really nice looking sprayer too. Yeah, I guess we didn't even need uh, the 400 gallons that we bought. That was, uh, I think, more than enough. That's okay, because we will dump it in a shuttle for now. And uh, we'll just set it aside. Because we will need more anyways. And like once we get our corn in the ground, we're, we're going to go through a lot on that. So, this corn loves its fertilizer. So, we're going to want a fair amount of it for that. second folks Do this last pass here. It's going to let us. Let's see what our soil map view is going to show here. So it is still fertilizing. So that's all that matters. It's just being really, really wonky for this pass here. All right, we're just gonna pop across the road. Not even gonna fold up or nothing here. This one knocked out. And then we'll be good on field work until about uh, April. So that'll give us some time to uh, look over the planner, make sure everything's good on that. Um, they did say that it was looked over, but I want to just give it a once over myself. And then we can get it loaded up, calibrated, all that fun stuff. And then uh, we'll be ready for the rest of planting. Unless we go and uh, decide to just get the lime work finished up right away. Um, we can decide that later. Definitely not going to be any more today. That'll be 
definitely a project for tomorrow. to get some fertilizer down in this drip? No, probably not. Okay, well, then I guess that's it for it. Yeah, it's showing it fertilized anyways. That works. Okay. So, liquid fertilizer is done on both of these. So we're going to go back here into the yard over to our trailer and we're going to dump what's in here back into that trailer and then we'll unload all of that in one go rather than having two separate things that we have to unload we can just do it all right off of that trailer there. Load that back in. Okay, and we'll just uh, we'll back this right over here, right inside of the Quonset for the time being. Now let's take a look here. So our planter needs 120 horse, and this is 130. So we could, that being said, we could use this to plant as well. Um, but again, we'll figure that out when we get to it. So let's um, let's start it. Okay, maybe we can't unload this. Why is it not letting me here? Okay, so we're selected on that. Hmm. Well. Interesting. And I know I do have another trailer that I want to see how much it is. It's one that I just found. But I gotta figure out where it's at in here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. In all reality, though, we could pick up, like, this trailer here, and we could get the dash system, but I think that's going to be a later project. Um, okay, well, I think what I'll do is I'll mess around with this, and I will make it so that way we have a shuttle with the 391 gallons in it. And then uh, we'll figure it out from there. So that's going to do it today, folks. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you all in the next one.